y'all know I'm the nicest barber in the city. You're the shortest barber in the city. <laughs> He's just jealous. My cuts is crazy. Come on, man. Yo, Sal, you think his cuts is crazy? You know what I think? I think all of y'all crazy. <laughs> hey, put it on the show. to the valley, my brothers. Right, we doing it big tonight in the valley right here at the Brotherhood Barbershop. What's up, valley? It's the place where you go hard or go home. And when I say go home, it ain't right home, because you got to take the 405 to the 5, to the 210, to the 1. Everybody know you're going to be in traffic all day. Now let's kick it over to the cutting board. First up, the cut man, Curtis Smith. Give it up for the lovely Lena Pinchinini. Last up, Rich, the barber. Y'all ready to meet your barbers? First up, y'all show some love for Chris Elliaris, AKA Cream the Barber. I'm known as Cream the Barber, and I'm famous for all my portrait designs and intricate artwork. My blends are smooth, my designs are the coldest, and Cream always rises to the top. And next up, Lorraine Osorio, AKA Stylist Fairy. My name is Lorraine Osorio. Representing Long Island, you a baby. I definitely have that style, that vision. You about to see some magic happen. Cause my clippers, they're my magic wand. And last up, Diego Elizaris, AKA Diego the Barber. <laughs> my name's Diego the Barber. Anything you throw at me, I can ace that I'm known for having that raw talent and making ugly people look good. All right, barbers, welcome to the battle. And only one of you will become the barber battle champion and will receive the ultimate Ulster prize package, a featured editorial on barbershopconnect.com and 15,000 cold hard cash, baby. What's a champ without the one belt Floyd Mayweather can't have? Bam! Champion Bob and Battle Belt! <laughs> For this challenge, we decided to bring in some living, breathing inspiration. Ladies! Flip it. Toss it. Hurt them. Give them drama. Ow! Big smiles. Drop it, spit it, and walk. What I'm talking about right there. Now, barbers, everybody knows that LA women carry a lot of baggage. And these ladies are no different. So, ladies, show us your baggage. <laughs> your job is to replicate those purse puppies into your crowns. Now, you'll have 60 minutes to create your design. All right, ladies, give us a crown. Your crowns. Clippers up. Get the cut. I'm gonna show you guys how we do it in LA. Oh man, this is my city now. It's about to be a Bay Area takeover up in here. Y'all don't understand and why up in here, baby? Say what? Oh, you you're you're mumbling a little. Am I mumbling? <laughs> but at least you look good. <laughs> State the truth. She's all right. Don't get mad because you don't look good like me. <laughs> so what are you outlining with right now, Chris? You don't use like just a regular outline or you use a clipper? Well, you always start with the clippers. It covers more ground, especially like a competition where it's timed. And then you come in with the trimmers after that just to touch it up. Most people do it the opposite way. <laughs> Diego, have you ever done a dog portrait before? Never. That dog looks like you. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> well, portrait of Diego's come together. Make sure you make me look real nice, bro. You can't do miracles, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I don't know what's cuter, the dog or Diego. The dog, absolutely the dog. How you feel, man? I mean, you got a little puppy in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how is that gonna feel? Like, when you walk past girls in the bar, you're like, oh! <laughs> You ain't gonna know why they said it. You gonna think it's you, you gonna be like, oh, I got my swag on today. <laughs> it's the puppy doing work. Yeah, right. Oh. <laughs> Chris, what's your record? I'm one, one, and one. How about you, Diego? Seven first place trophies. I got two, third this place. This is the only one that really counts right now, bruh. Oh. I do this with my eyes closed. Yeah, it look like you do it with your eyes closed, too, bro. <laughs> That's not what those first place trophies said. Damn, you got Cocky Balboa over here. <laughs> you got Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> and we got Rosie Perez. Hi. <laughs> OK, Bay Area. In your hometown, brother, they say Bay Area first. Come on, dude. Let me see, let me see what you got over there. Are you ready for it? What is that? <laughs> you guys still think the Bay's doing better? <laughs> what city are we in? Nope. 10 minutes left, barbers. I'm gonna remind you guys, we're judging you on realism, your shading, and your overall look. Anything in particular you guys looking for? <laughs> were you not listening? If you were listening to the judges, the beautiful judges, mind you. Oh, you're not, not you're just <laughs> kissing up right now. Hey, yo, Chris, if you could see your crown's face right now. You didn't even want the dog in your head at all. This don't work in my neighborhood. They thought he was going to put the model with the long legs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Two minutes. These dogs are coming alive. Y'all going to have to take these haircuts to the dog park. You getting nervous over there, D? Getting intense, man. Time's running out. This is it. The clock is ticking, baby. Y'all should be working on y'all finished touches. Three, two, Whoa. one. Down. Step away from your crowns, barbers. There. All right, barbers, now it is time for the crown check. Spin your crowns around. Cream the barber. Tell the judges about your cut. I started off around the nose area with the clippers. Then I came in with the trimmers and did all the shading after that. Not that that tough little forehead line, but you know what? The key is to keep it natural. Crispy but natural, that's my motto. Crispy but natural. I yes, like sir. it. Man, he says something about natural. Nothing natural about that hairline. That boy took that hairline back to the future, man. That thing is like, whoa. Overall, I think he did really good. His shading work is amazing. The only thing for me, those ears kind of really don't look like the picture. We're going to go to Lorraine, the stylist fairy. What's up? OK, so what I did is drew it out first, framed it, little fade, did a full hawk, the part, and you know stuff like that. Why did you leave it so dark when you shaded it down? Well, I was trying to make it pop. The outline is symmetrically correct. If you could just get that shade a little bit lower, I think you could even nail it better. Good work, man. Thank you. Diego, my man, what's up, man? All right, well, first of all, I had a model that had two scars, as you can see right there. So I had to figure out a way to place it somewhere where I can incorporate these scars. I kind of just started off with the head, and then I incorporated the scar as the body. I wish I wouldn't have took it down some so you could see more of the contrast, more of the detail. Man, the first five minutes, I was like, damn. That boy came bursting out the gate like Usain Bolt. <laughs> but the more he faded out the haircut, it's like the more the design started to lose its features. Like he said, I think maybe he took certain parts down too low. Honestly, I don't even know if that's a chihuahua or a healthy rat. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a tough one, man. Super tough competition to judge. We got a little contemplating to do. Start looking at each other. It's gonna be bye bye time. Somebody is gonna be clipped when you come back. So, how do you feel about your haircut? Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Didn't know I was gonna get a portrait of a dog on my head. I don't have no girlfriend, and I can't even be seen at the club for the next two weeks. It's all going down, a barber battle was said. Yo, what's up, Fed? Welcome to the Valley, player. Welcome back, barbers. 
And for this buzz cut challenge, the judges felt that two of your cuts had a bark as big as their bite. And the other cut was going to wind up in the doghouse. And that barber heading home is... Lorraine, you've been clipped. I'm really bummed about that. But, you know, I definitely feel good about what I accomplished. Y'all gonna keep on seeing me. And hopefully next time, I take the win. Y'all show some love. <laughs> Diego, Cream, your work was off the chain today. But tomorrow's gonna be a real grind if you want to win that 15 G. important for me because we're out here in L.A., my hometown, and I got a witness to show everybody that I'm the best. I'm ready to take that 15000 home. It's about to get real serious. I'm winning this 15 G's, taking over L.A., and taking it back to the Bay Area. Welcome, barbers. Congratulations on making it to the Cut Down Challenge. Today, we are at Skate Lab Skateboard Park in Simi Valley where all the best young boarders in L.A. gather to show off their skills and their skinny jeans. <laughs> really, what's with the skinny jeans? I mean, they're just too tight. <laughs> Today, you're going to have to get a grip on your challenge if you plan on winning that 15 grand. Y'all ready to do this? Dudes, roll out, bros. <laughs> yeah, things just got gnarly. <laughs> For this challenge, you'll both have to replicate the design at the bottom of your skateboard into your crown. Now, you'll have 90 minutes to complete this challenge. Now, let's meet the heads you'll be cutting on. Give me some crowns! Keep your crowns. Clippers up! Get to cutting. Are you guys familiar with three-dimensional designs? Oh, yeah. So you got to put a lot of the fading work into the contrast to make certain parts hop out more than others. It's not just shading. It's also how you use your angles. How you use your what? Your angles. What's that? Angle creates depth. Angle does what? <laughs> Diego, how are you going to create the dimension? I'm going to use some of the black into the shading to make it look like it's popping up a little bit. I don't got too many colors to worry about, just blue, red, yellow, black, and white. <laughs> That's the whole rainbow. <laughs> cream is another color you should worry about. Yes, sir. Wow. I'm not worried about sour cream with the barber over here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sour cream. <laughs> oh, snap. All right, barbers, we are now at 30 minutes. Who wants the money? I'm running away with this one right here. That hairline's running away. <laughs> <laughs> it's all going down a barber battle with Sam. Yo, Sam, welcome to the valley. 818, stand up. We are now at 30 minutes. Oh, oh. What you gonna do with that top? I'm knock it down all the way. You should see his face when you said that, yo. It took me a while to grow that out. Are you going to split that money with me if you win? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> That's cold. You see, I'm trying to satisfy my client, giving him the haircut he gets. Damn, oh. homie. <laughs> he was growing that out for a couple months, and he just took it all down. Hair grows back, bro. I know, but my hair's beautiful. Better hurry up with this the cuts. This might be the time where you want to start finishing up on your design. Yeah, you guys really need to start that color. You feeling good about your color, D? I haven't even started my color, to be honest with you, but... Utilize your time wisely, fella. You know, that color takes as long as it takes to put in the design. You gotta make sure you get on top of that. I'm, I'm gonna get right to that right now. Ten minutes left. We putting the barber game on national TV. The culture of it has changed. Like, people are really starting to have a lot more fun when they open up their shops. Actually, in some neighborhoods, people look at the barbershop as, like, that's their chance to go see the fellas and go hang out. 
Hey, but that's for real, though. Being a barber, you never know who might walk through that door and have a hookup for anything. I know a plumber. I got a doctor. I got a dentist. You can get your taxes done at the barbershop. <laughs> What's the craziest thing you had, Creep? Oh, man. I had uh, wives come in and literally stand right next to me while I'm cutting dude's hair the whole time. I'm like, oh, I'm trying to make your man look good. But she was on my bumper tough. <laughs> on his bumper? Yeah. Oh, she was, she was following me real close. Two minutes left. Let's see what you got over here real quick. Look like E.T. going like this, because your ass is about to go home. Oh. That's all you got, my dude? Three, two, one. Flip us down. Step away from your crowns. All right, barbers. Well, let's get into the crown check. Turn your crowns around. Chris, cream the barber. Talk about your cut a little bit. Explain what you did. Man, it's kind of hard for me to talk about it, to be honest with you, because you obviously tell us an unfinished product. It was a tough one because it had a lot of peaks to it on the side that was really just really hard to dig into. The reason why I used the white on the outside was because it kind of brings everything out. Then I started to work my way with the black, then with the color on the inside, but just ran out of time, man. Let's move on over to my man Diego the Barber. I just went in straight for the kill. I did the hand first. I started off from the bottom, moved my way up. Using the clippers, I just kind of outlined everything, started detailing it, trying to bring it to life. I finished the, the haircut, all the colors there, and I'm, I'm happy with it. All right, big up to both of y'all, man. This was a sick challenge. You did your thing. Now it's time for the judges to do theirs. One of those hands is grabbing the $15,000 and walking out of here, the Barber Battle Champion. It's all going down. A Barber Battle was sad. What's up, Sad? Welcome to the San Fernando Valley. You know how we do. So now, it's time for y'all to talk about it on the educator, Chris Cream the Barber. First of all, he didn't even finish up the cut. When he was 25 minutes left on the cut, we told him, start that color. We said, let me finish up the cut first. Right? Okay. And then, when we got down to five minutes, he decided he wants to throw the color on. Now, that's five minutes worth of color. What I will give him is that he has nice, clean lines, and his definition is on point. His dimension was incredible. Look at all the details in the fingers. The curvature in the fingers, all the fingernails, everything was on point. Let's jump into Diego the Barber. Not only did he put the black in for the outlining, but he kind of smudged it a little bit to give it that shadowy effect. His color work pops crazy. He borderlined this whole entire thing with yellow. The tongue is nice and blue, the separation in the teeth. The fingers, his dimension is a little bit off. Yeah, it's like you got carpet tunnel, right? It's just like, eh. <laughs> To me, I think he left the hair inside too long and it made everything look kind of smushed. He should have just shaved it down a little bit more. He should have started his outline a little bit farther out, really utilized the whole head, and said he made it smushed. I, I mean, the fact is, one of them had better color work and one of them had, I think, better dimension than the other one. Wow, man. So actually, this battle was a lot closer than what it appeared to be. Yeah, this is a hard one. All right, well, let's go crown the champion. Welcome back, barbers. Now, you both tricked out your cuts today, but the judges felt that only one of you should roll out of here with the Barber Battle Championship belt. So, Cream, the judges felt that since you didn't finish your cut, they didn't get a chance to see your full color work potential. But your skateboard's dimension and duplication was out of the park. Now, Diego. The judges felt that your color work was really on point, but your fingers were a little jacked up and that your dimensions were slightly off. And so, the winner of the ultimate Ulster Barber Prize package, a featured editorial on barbershopconnect.com, and that check for $15,000 and that championship belt belongs to Diego the Barber. Woo! Congratulations, baby, you the Barber Battle Champ. Good Thank job, man. Congratulations. Woo! I never got a payday this fat before. I basically made $15,000 for two haircuts. Woo!
Makes it all the better. I just won this in my hometown, L.A., baby. I feel like I lost just because I didn't finish the color. If I finished out the color, I know I would have took this challenge. We might come to your town. You think you can cut heads? Well, you want to do it right here at Cedric's Barber Battle. But Barber ain't just a business. It's a battle, baby. So how do you feel about your haircut? Pretty weird, but it's cool. When my girlfriend sees it, she's probably going to be like, what the heck did you get? I like it.